Things got contentious in a recent ABC News interview with Republican vice presidential candidate G.D. Vance. During the interview, reporter Martha Radatz was talking to Vance about candidate Donald Trump's allegations about a Venezuelan gang takeover in Colorado. However, when the reporter fact-checked the comments, Vance lashed out and asked her if she was listening to herself. Here is what happened. T.D. Vance spars with ABC News reporter. G.D. Vance appeared on the ABC News talk show this week to speak to reporter Martha Raddatz. The two were talking about issues leading to the upcoming presidential election, and the topic went to the recent issues in Aurora, Colorado, with Venezuelan gangs. While talking about the Venezuelan gangs in Aurora that had set up a drug and prostitution ring in the city, Raddatz commented on the way that Trump has referred to it. On Friday, Trump appeared in Denver, and he said that the Tren de Araca, TDA, crime syndicate had overrun the city. This led to the major saying that this was untrue. The major of Aurora said there had been gang activity in a handful of apartment complexes, but the police had taken care of the problems and have been cleaning up the gang activity. However, when Radatz commented that the gangs had not overrun the city, as Trump had claimed, Van stepped up and asked her if she was listening to herself. Martha, do you hear yourself? Vavins asked. Only a handful of apartment complexes in America were taken over by Venezuelan gangs. And Donald Trump is the problem, and not Kamala Harris, open border. J.D. Vance accuses Martha Raddatz of nitpicking. J.D. Vance continued by saying, Americans are so fed up with what's going on. He said that apartment complexes in the United States of America are being taken over by violent gangs. Radatz tried to bring the subject back to the fact that the gang had not overrun the city. Vance responded, A few apartment complexes, no big deal. The Aurora police had arrested 10 people with ties to the gangs that had moved into Aurora. This happened after gang members set up shop in the Whispering Pines Apartments complex. They engaged in extortion, child prostitution, and other criminal acts. The police quickly moved in and shut things down. However, in his speech on Friday, Trump said he planned to bring in elite squads of ICE, Border Patrol, and federal law enforcement officers to arrest and deport every illegal alien gang member. Vance finished by saying, We've got to get American communities in a safe space again. What are your thoughts about the back and forth on ABC News? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. In the ever-escalating political landscape of the United States, few topics stir as much controversy as immigration and border security. This contentious issue once again found its way into the headlines when Ohio Senator G.D. Vance lashed out at an ABC reporter during an interview that quickly turned into a fiery exchange over the state of the U.S.-Mexico border. Vance, a Republican rising star who has made a name for himself, with his staunch conservative stances and populist rhetoric, has been a vocal critic of the Biden administration's handling of immigration. He argues that the lack of a robust border policy is leading to a humanitarian crisis, an increase in drug trafficking, and a breakdown of national security. His frustration boiled over during the interview, and it was clear that the debate about the border has only intensified, as both sides of the political spectrum grapple with how best to address it. The tension builds, a clashing of perspectives. The incident began innocuously enough, with ABC reporter Rachel McPherson asking Vance a question about his recent remarks on immigration policy and his proposed solutions to the ongoing border crisis. The question, however, struck a nerve with Vance. His response, which started out calm, quickly took on a more aggressive tone with the senator accusing the mainstream media of downplaying the severity of the border situation. Vance's central argument was that the media, in an effort to protect the current administration, has failed to properly report on the scale of the problems at the southern border. He pointed to an influx of migrants, the strain on border states like Texas and Arizona, and the rise in fentanyl trafficking as evidence that the Biden administration's policies are failing the American people. The reality is that we have an unprecedented crisis at our southern border, Vance said, his voice rising with frustration. And yet, where are the major networks? Where is the outcry? 
It seems like the media is more interested in running cover for Joe Biden than in telling the truth about what's happening. A reporter's pushback, McPherson facts versus attempting feeling. to redirect the conversation to the policy specifics, asked Vance to elaborate on what he would do differently to address the border issues. She also challenged his claim that the media was covering up the crisis, pointing out that numerous outlets, including ABC, have reported extensively on the situation at the border. Her line of questioning seemed to further agitate Vance. I'm tired of the media pretending like they're reporting the facts, he shot back. If they were, the American people would understand just how dire this situation is. Instead, we're fed a narrative that makes it seem like everything's under control, when it's not. McPherson maintained her composure, pushing Vance to provide details about his proposed solutions. Would he support increased funding for border security? More resources for processing asylum claims? A complete overhaul of the immigration system? These are questions that voters want answers to, she suggested. But by this point, the interview had turned into a battle of wills, with Vance doubling down on his attack against the media. It's not just about policy, it's about accountability. The media should be holding this administration accountable, and instead, it feels like they're more concerned with playing politics. The bigger picture. Immigration as a political battlefield. This heated exchange between Vance and McPherson is emblematic of the larger debate that's been raging in American politics for years. Immigration, and specifically the issue of border security, is one of the most divisive topics in the country. Conservatives like Vance argue that the current administration's policies are too lax, leading to an uncontrolled flow of migrants, many of whom are seeking asylum from violence and poverty in Central and South America. Vance has frequently framed the situation at the border as not just a humanitarian issue, but as a matter of national security. He has raised concerns about the drug cartels operating across the border, particularly the smuggling of fentanyl, a powerful opioid that has been responsible for thousands of overdose deaths in the U.S. We're dealing with a situation where the cartels have more control of our border than we do, Vance declared during the interview. This isn't just an immigration issue. It's a criminal issue, and the American people are paying the price. On the other side of the debate are those who argue for a more compassionate approach to immigration. They point to the root causes of migration, violence, economic instability, and climate change, and argue that the U.S. should take a leadership role in addressing these issues in partnership with other countries. Critics of Vance's hardline stance accuse him of fear-mongering and oversimplifying a complex situation for political gain. The media, caught in the middle, often finds itself the target of both sides. Conservatives claim that outlets like ABC are biased against them, while liberals argue that the media is too quick to amplify fear-based rhetoric about immigration. It's a no-win situation, and interviews like the one between Vance and McPherson only serve to highlight the deep divisions in how the media and politicians approach the issue. Vance's vision. What comes next? Despite the fiery nature of the exchange, the heart of the matter lies in the policy debate itself. Vance, who has positioned himself as a champion of working-class Americans, sees the border crisis as an extension of the broader struggles faced by many Americans. Job loss, the opioid epidemic, and a sense of insecurity in an increasingly globalized world. His vision for solving the border crisis involves a combination of stricter enforcement, building more barriers, and cracking down on the cartels that profit from human smuggling and drug trafficking. He has also called for a complete overhaul of the asylum system, arguing that the current process is too slow and cumbersome, allowing too many people to stay in the country illegally. But whether these solutions will gain traction in a deeply divided Congress is another matter. Immigration reform has been a sticking point in Washington for decades, with no real bipartisan consensus on how to move forward. The fallout, a defining moment. For G.D. Vance, the confrontation with the ABC reporter may end up being a defining moment in his political career. His fiery rhetoric and willingness to take on the media will likely play well with his base who see him as a straight-talking politician unafraid to challenge the establishment. But the exchange also raises questions about whether Vance can navigate the complexities of immigration policy without resorting to attacks and oversimplifications. 
The border crisis is a multifaceted issue that demands thoughtful, nuanced solutions, and voters will be looking for leaders who can provide more than just soundbites.